we're here to think about that particular moment when the suffering started. Last year, this is who I lost, Jim, in my home, and that's what this means to me that I lost a loved one here in Katrina's flood. And I'm hoping to hear some answers today, saying, you know, you can start going back in your home next week, rebuild it. On celebrating with him are former Archbishop Francis Schulte and Bishops Dominic Carmen and Roger Moran. And I'm going to invite those of you who want to join me in kneeling in a moment of prayer as we mark the breaching of the first levies one year ago. Ladies and gentlemen, my husband, President George Bush. Thank you all. Unfortunately, the hurricane also brought terrible scenes that we never thought we would see in America. Citizens drowned in their attics. Desperate mothers crying out on national TV for food and water. A breakdown of law and order and a government at all levels that fell short of its responsibilities. When the rain stopped and this wounded city was laid bare, our television screen showed faces worn down by poverty and despair. For most of you, the storms were only the beginning of your difficulties. Katrina exposed the big things that need repairing, yet its most devastating impact has been on the rhythms of everyday life. We'll again be filled with young men and women 